Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum, it's me Talha. So here is another video about the new Inkscape material editor for Revit and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create video textures using the new Inkscape material editor for Revit. But before I get started I would like to suggest you check out my other Inkscape for Revit tutorials. Uh, you'll find the link in the description. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project which I used in my previous videos. Uh, if you want to model this scene you can watch my uh, previous videos or you can just get this project file from my Patreon. All the links are in the description. Anyway, before using the Enscape Material Editor we want to create uh, an extrusion uh, on this uh, TV screen. So let's do that. Let's go to level 1 and uh, let's open up this section view now here we want to create an extrusion so let's go to architecture select model in place and uh, just select generate models let's call it tv screen click ok now let's select the extrusion and this dialog box will pop up you just need to choose pick a plane click ok and pick the screen of this uh, tv just hover over the edge of this TV here and the face will highlight if not you can just uh, press tab key a couple of times to highlight the face of the component now let's use rectangle and draw around it perfect now you need to remember the width uh, and the height of this rectangle so it's 4.5 and the height is 2.6 so now we need to edit the extrusion end which is going to be 0.2 inch and then we can apply a material to this extrusion so first click finish let's go to 3d and you can see we got this thin uh, layer uh, or the thin extrusion on this uh, tv screen now let's apply a material to this We want to create a new material and I will call it TV screen. Click OK and then finish model. So we have created our TV screen. Now we want to open up the Inkscape material editor and search the material which we have just created. Here we have it. Now to load a video texture you just need to click this button here. Now here make sure all supported files is selected and then I will just select this video file which I downloaded uh, from a free videos website pixels.com. Let's open this up and there you go our video texture is now added uh, to this Revit material. Now let's minimize this and start the Inkscape. So the Inkscape is now started. Let's move the camera to the TV here. So the video is working fine, but we need to do some adjustments. So let's go back to Revit. And first I will pause the Inkscape. And then let's go to the section view. And we want to edit the material of this TV screen. So it's already selected. We'll just click edit in place and select this TV screen and then edit the material and go to graphics now here we want to add the surface pattern so let's click here go to model and we want to create a new one let's call it TV screen and then select cross hatch and change the line angle to zero now line spacing 1 will be the height of the uh, TV screen and line spacing 2 will be the width of the TV screen so we need to put that here. The height was 2 feet and 6 inches and the width was 4 feet and 5 inches. Perfect. Let's click OK. 
ok again and as you can see we got these pattern lines visible here now we only need to move them to move the texture here if you notice here we got four uh, different video angles and uh, we have the same in Revit so we want to move these pattern lines so for that we can use the align tool let's select align and select the edge of this TV screen and then uh, this uh, pattern line there you go now let's repeat with this one as well select the edge of this TV screen and then this horizontal line and we can now click finish and resume the end scape and there you go it's uh, a lot better now but still we have this uh, gap which means we need to increase the width of this texture so let's go back to the inscape material editor and click here to edit the size of this uh, video texture here we have the parameters so if you remember the width of the tv was 4 feet 5 inches and the height was 2 feet uh, 6 inches so if we convert that into meters it will be around 1.5 meter and the height will be 0.9 meters let's check this there you go we got this cool looking video texture here and if you want to move this a bit because i think it's reached the edge of this tv so if you want to move this a bit uh, we can use the model lines again first let's pause the inscape and select this extrusion and then edit in place now to select the pattern line here we first want to increase the extrusion then hit tab key to select the pattern line then let's move it around 2 inches maybe and return back the extrusion to the same place where it was before now let's click finish model and resume the endscape and there you go it's looking way better now so that's how easy it is now to create the video textures in Revit and Enscape 3.1 so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my Revit advanced courses on my website learnrevitonline.com and yeah I will see you guys in the next video